Oh man, this is amazing. Here we are, January 2nd. Happy New Year, by the way. This weather is amazing. I just hope we don't pay for it in February and March with some cold weather. So Eli helped me out this morning by letting out our chickens and turkeys early. We'll do that maybe once a week, and that's pretty awesome, but I still gotta let out the emus. You know this could be like heaven. I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do. Attention. You want to see what you're up to, Eli? What are you doing? No. Good job. You didn't die. All right, had a good run with the emus. Eli didn't kill himself. So far, a win. Hey, he's better. <laughs> you still faster? Oh, you're gonna cheat on him, huh? Hey, guys, cheating! <laughs> Can't quite beat him, huh? Yeah, because they're in front of us. Oh, Me. that's why. You did the chores this morning, huh? Yep. What'd you do? I left the eggs. I let the chickens out, I pulled the fence down, I let the turkeys out, I feed the kitties, I let the kitties out, and that's all. In here, this is our original chicken tractor, just a little four by eight little deal here. It's good space for little chicks, not very good space for full grown chickens, which these guys are almost at two months old now and really need to get into a bigger space. But that all depends on us getting the mobile chicken coop done and getting the main flock moved over. You know what, I think I could free up some space in here if I moved the Lavender Orpingtons out and we just kept the Guineas and Bantams in here. That would buy us another week or two, I think. Definitely a rooster. I think we've got a few Lavender Orpington roosters in there. Normally I don't like to merge them into the flock during the day, but we're gonna bring over five of them. I don't think it should be a big issue. So Becky helped me move the coop yesterday. It was over here and it was getting really muddy and gross, especially in their coop after it rained for a couple days. We moved them all over to a grassy area over here, but we didn't get the message to Eli. He actually opened up the fence in between it here today, thinking that we wanted them in both spots. Now we've got to get all the chickens back over there so we can let this place rest. That's a pretty one. It has a small one. That's right. All right, hen number two and lavender number four. Lurky, you don't like them, huh? Oh, there's a lot more space. Only five guineas and three chickens in there. Is that a hen? Yes. I thought we had three roosters in here. Let's check. What do you guys think? Lavender Orpington number five. Head would say that it's a female. I think that tail, look at that tail. That kind of looks like a rooster. Hannah Roo, let me know down in the comments. Looking at you, I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this. Hey, you got an egg. All right, so today is the start of our breeding program for this year, and we thought we'd have some fun and make some I am Chamani mixes. Of course, this is our I am Chamani rooster, Johnny Cash. So this is Johnny Cash as a snowflake. He's a silky, he's an I am Chamani rooster. Everything in this flock will be a combination of one of these two. So we thought we'd have some fun this year and make some mixes with this guy. Maybe get some I am Chamani chicks, but then also get some combinations and we think that'd be pretty cool. But to do that, we need some eggs and we need an incubator. And I've got just the thing. All right, well we got this incubator from, I think it's called the Verado Company, and they are in Italy. All right, Verado sent us their Lumia 16 model. Let's open this up and check it out. Got a cord. Can you actually run this incubator in your car? It's actually got a car plug-in. All right, that looks pretty cool. Let's take it inside and turn it on, see if this thing works. All right, we've got the incubator on, the Lumia 16 from Verado. 
and looks like it's got enough to hold 16 chicken eggs, of course. And they have a smaller version that also holds just eight. You can take the egg turner out, especially in the last couple of days when they're starting to hatch, and just lay them on this flat surface. And then it says to fill up one compartment during normal incubation. It has a couple little trays here on the side. I'm gonna try to fill it up here from the outside. All right, so I've got one side filled with water. I'm leaving the other side open and there's nothing in the middle. And so I'm gonna go get a little sensor so I can make sure that I'm keeping them at the right humidity. All right, so I've got these little temp and humidity sensors. Their incubator keeps in Celsius. And the only thing you can do with the settings is check the desired temp, which they have it at 37.7 degrees Celsius, and then what the current temp is at. So I'll come back and check in a little bit, and we'll get some eggs started. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights So we need to name some of these ducks. A couple of these guys are unique. We've got one female in the standard color, and we've got one male in the white mandarin color and so we're gonna pick out some names for them. so we read through your name suggestions and we picked out a few that we liked all right so becky your bird right there we had a hard time getting so what did we end up calling him we're gonna call him air male we thought that was very suitable for this that's a great suggestion he's a male mandarin duck so he's male and he came to us through airmail. And this girl right here, we had some suggestions of coconut and chocolate, and so we picked cocoa for her. So right here we've got airmail and cocoa. That'd be a good idea to mark their legs and then we can figure out who they paired up with and then name each pair accordingly. Hot and cocoa, no, just kidding. Cocoa bean. Cocoa, beans. cocoa and bean and airmail. FedEx. FedEx or Maybe. or Posty, and that's how we'll work some of the pairs into the pond area, some into the aviary that we'll build. Because these guys mate for life, so as long as they're with their mate, they'll stay together wherever they're at. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Oh man, we forgot a couple pieces of mail. They we, got lost. <laughs> they were stuck under some of our bills. We totally missed them. So if you guys sent us some stuff and hadn't seen it, hopefully this will be yours right and here. And then we've got the giveaway winners to announce from Baker Creek. So Ashley and Jesse had sent us some personalized keychains here. There's Uriah and Bamboo. And the reason they sent them to us is that they raise money for Hope for Orphans organization. So we think that's a really cool foundation. Definitely check out the link. Maybe you can find a way to help out with that. Thank you, Bailey from Texas for sending the Christmas card. This is from Sage, sent a picture of a dove. And I think he's sending it from Australia. Thank you, Sage. Tanya from Australia, thank you for sending us some cool little Vegemite stencils. Hope some of you guys are getting your catalogs for McMurray Hatchery. So in here we have six pictures from our birds. So the first person to send us all six, tag us in a Facebook or Instagram post. First person to find all six of them we will send you a free t-shirt from White House on the Hill. And lastly, we've got our giveaway from Baker Creek. The winners from the last video who left a comment about something they wanna grow were Karina McKittrick wanted to grow tomatoes, Vanessa Jones, asparagus, sugar peas, or broccoli. We can pick any of those, Becky. And Ruth Havdebo wanted to grow Ishtar cukes. Aren't those like cukes? Are those like the little like cucumbers, like spiky cucumbers uh, or something? No, those were called. But congratulations to you three winners. I'll put my email down in the description. Make sure you message me. I'll get your contact info and we'll get you your $25 Baker Creek gift card and the whole seed catalog. Congrats, guys. You gonna help us collect eggs? You got any eggs in there? So yeah, we got a few. What's going on in there? I am Chimani sitting in the nesting box but she doesn't have any eggs under yet. Oh, we got some eggs over here. You wanna grab those, Uriah? Oh, that's two. You can grab the R one. Oh, what big? Here, <laughs> All right, we've got the temperature and the humidity right about where we want. We'll go about another degree warmer, but the humidity is perfect. So we're gonna fill this incubator up with some eggs and get it started. 
First of all, I am impressed. You mentioned how quiet this was. We haven't had too many incubators that are this quiet. That's pretty impressive. All right, we'll start with some big eggs, some brown ones here. What do you think these are from, Becky? They might be our obster orbs or the Rhode Island Red. We've got one that's kind of brown, but with a purplish hue. Pretty sure that's from a Bard Rock. Black Copper Moran or Well Summer. This one definitely looks like Black Copper Moran. This one's a little speckled. Could either be Well Summer, could be our Splash Moran. Not sure. All right, Eli, we've got some blue and green eggs here. Who do you think these are from? Americana. Americana is in our Easter Eggers. These will look really cool mixed with the I Am Chimani. This one right here, we've got a couple of these. These should be from our I Am Chimani's and I think they're all gonna be mixed with Silkies. And this one's slightly lighter and slightly bigger I think that comes from our blue laced red Wyandots, silver Wyandots. Almost got a full house. Got a room to put a couple more in tonight or tomorrow. One of the things we read about this incubator in the booklet with it, it rotates it randomly at different times and at different angles. And so it actually is trying to simulate what the egg would do under a hen. All right, you guys ready to hatch some eggs out? Yeah. yeah. How long does it take, Eli? Uh, maybe 29. 21. 21. That's right, 21 days. All right, we'll see you guys in three weeks. Bye. Hey. 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 You got the kitty? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop. Hey, Dea. You petting the kitty? Are you petting the kitty? Yeah.